Anya Taylor-Joy plays the younger Furiosa, previously played by Charlize Theron in Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, won a few new movies that we reviewing this week on CJ at the Movies, along with Chris Pratt as the new voice of Garfield. I'm Christopher Zweig, let's take a look. Anya Taylor-Joy now plays the younger Furiosa, who, as a child, gets kidnapped by the evil warlord Dementus, played by Chris Hemsworth, who plans to rule all the wasteland. He's the same man who murdered her mother, and she's been vowing revenge on him ever since. My childhood. My mother. I want them back. I want them back! I saw Furiosa Mad Max Saga at a special Dolby screening in New York City on Monday, and I could feel the vibrations of the car chases and horns honking. The stunt work, pyrotechnics, CGI, and sets, they're all beautifully photographed by Simon Dugan and professionally edited by Margaret Sixsoul and Elliot Knapman. Even though Mad Max Fury Road had more twisted images than this one does, Furiosa Mad Max Saga still has moments I won't spoil. It was once again directed by George Miller, the man responsible for all the Mad Max movies, and he's also responsible for having Taylor Joy possessing the badass qualities of Charlize Theron and Hemsworth channeling on Heath Ledger's Joker. This prequel is definitely popcorn entertainment. Our next movie is the Garfield movie, the latest film version of Jim Davis's popular comic strip cat Garfield, who is fat and lazy, loves lasagna and all things food related, and hates Mondays. 20 years ago, we had Bill Murray voicing him. 20 years later, we now have Chris Pratt. I apologize in advance. The eating you're about to see will not be pretty. And if you have young children, this would be a good time for them to leave the room. Instead of reuniting with his mother, like in the comic strip or TV special Garfield on the Town, he reunites with his old man Vic, voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, who gets both him and his dog roommate Odie involved with a milk heist. You ever jumped a train? I've never jumped. Here's that stop! Really? Where? <laughs> The Garfield movie was directed by Mark Dindle in his first film since Chicken Little. I was delighted by his first two entries, Cats Don't Dance and The Emperor's New Groove, and I was really looking forward to this movie as his long-delayed return to directing feature films, but it doesn't resonate with the comic strips. Pratt is no Lorenzo Music as the voice of Garfield, but the supporting cast is often entertaining, not only Jackson and Harvey Gully and as Odie, but also Hannah Waddington as an evil cat, Brett Goldstein and Bowen Yang as her two-dog henchmen, Ving Rams as a romantically disgruntled bull, and Cecily Strong as an animal catcher with an app that can translate animal noises. That's an example on some of the movie's bright spots, but there's nothing much to compare with how Garfield fought a panther, reunited with his mom, or beat Normal at a cat show in the 80s cartoons. Next up, Adam the First, which tells the story of a young man named Adam, played by Oakes Fagley, whose adoptive father, played by David Duchovny, admits to him that he found him alone in the woods as a baby, and ever since, the young man has been wondering who his real father was. Before his adopted parents get killed, the old man leaves him a final letter stating that his father's name was Jacob Watterson and gives him a few addresses. Any one of these men could be named Jacob, so the young man begins a trek to find out which one. You're serious. Please, God. Make it so that you had a good reason to leave me. Please. As I kept watching Adam the First, I found something unique within the story regarding the boy's questions and what he has to do to get them answered. You know how young people are when they want to know their true roots, whether or not they're going to like the outcome, and even through some formulas, it manages to overcome them with pure emotions. Fegley is a fine young actor, and he plays the character with the right determination. Next up, The Strangers Chapter 1, which I think is a three-part reboot of the 2008 horror film, where three masked killers attack a happy couple during their home invasion. This time around, we have a young couple played by Madeline Petch and Troy Guterres traveling cross-country for their five-year dating anniversary and for a potential job interview. Their car breaks down in Oregon, but they're given a one-night stay at an Airbnb. Did you hear that? Hear what? The silence. It's nice. <gasps> Is Tamara here? No. I think you have the wrong home. That was weird. As you might expect, the man in the mask, pinup girl, and doll face all threaten this happy couple. And we basically get the same results as in the original movie. And even though Petch does a good job playing the new girl, there's not much to care about with The Strangers Chapter 1. 
And our last movie is Babes, a very funny and affectionate pregnancy comedy co-written and starring Alana Glazer as a mid-30s woman whose best friend, played by Michelle Buteau, gives birth to her second child. On her subway ride home, she has a one-night stand with a background actor, played by Stephen James, who impregnates her before he dies. She decides to have his child. You think I can do this, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And being a first-time pregnant woman, she likes to treat her delivery day like her prom and still has the spirit of a teenager. This might be problematic for her friend for reasons I don't want to give away, but are either funny or consistent. It all depends on the very moment in the film. I have a family. I've been swamped. Best friends get so screwed over in adulthood. You and me, we're family. Bitch. Mm-mm, bitch. Bitch. Ba, ba, ba. Babes is the directorial debut of King of the Hill star Pamela Adlon, who delivers the film with terrific comedy performances by Glazer and Buteau and an honest representation of young motherhood. It's a pregnancy comedy that wants to take its own approach in the tradition of Knocked Up, but acknowledges that many pregnancy stories have their challenges regarding hormones and diets. And it also values the friendship between the two characters who are both personal and smart. Recapping this week's new movies, thumbs up for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, thumbs down for the Garfield movie, Thumbs up for Adam the First, thumbs down for The Strangers Chapter 1, and thumbs way up for Babes. Well, those are the new movies I'm reviewing this week. I'm Christopher Zweig. Stay safe, and I'll see you at the movies. For more amazing content, please like and subscribe to my channels, and please read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com and download the new HD Radio app.